I'm here with my, my friend Uvin, Uvin, and in his workshop. Last time I saw you, we were in the Azores, <laughs> and he was on a different boat, and you had an idea for a new boat, but it was just uh, this little drawing at that time. Yeah. And a few short months later, this that drawing has become this amazing. Yes, it's good. Spider. It's been working for a while, you know, and, and uh, I got the good luck with the winds sailing up from the Azores Island, and. Yeah. Uh, but the good luck, you know, bringing the boat back home, you know, and on a trailer, and and then I got good luck with uh, getting the divination because this is seventy millimeter, mm -hmm. and also got good luck with the uh, epoxy, speaking mm -hmm. to the man, and it's all, it's all coming together. It sounds like yes, and then in less than two months, the hull was done, you know. Yeah. So and also, well, the first thing I did was because. I had this book before. Well, Sam, you are taller than me. You get that book down. You know? So it's, uh, you see, it's kind of a uh, hot shine here. Mm -hmm. Edges. You bring that book down. <laughs> so that's just how the book. But you see, this one is cool. So, but you see, inside, it's uh, kind of hot. Yeah. But then uh, I uh, cut it. 45 degrees here. Okay. And this is the model for the new one. And you see, I cut it a little bit here. Okay, more uh, here. Even on this one, it's even very round. Mm -hmm. So, like shaping it, you know, like a windsurfing. Mm -hmm. It's kind of nice. But it's so thick, you know, and you don't really have to do much, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And then I started the mock up. And here is the bed. So I cut my bed at home. Mm -hmm. And I tried it with one, I'm 168 myself. Mm -hmm. So I tried it 172, I forgot what I tried, you know. But I cut it, it was a little bit too short, you know. So now it's 176, mm -hmm. the bulkhead. Here's the bed. And it's fine, so this is what I'm doing. You've been living with that, by the bed. centimeters but I have to swing around you know okay sit like this and I swing around and it was just a little bit narrow so make this 60 centimeter mm -hmm. and here's going to be a window out you know mm -hmm. and here is from a window there and a window there and here is going to be a seat too you know it's if, not great. if you come and visit me okay in the boat next time we meet in the foreign port mm -hmm. you can sit here and I can sit here uh, yeah. That under here is uh, 60 liters water in this. I got this from the epoxy man, and then too, before I filled epoxy. Right. Yeah, of course. And uh, so I, I fill this with water, mm -hmm. fresh water, and I drink it up and fill it with salt water. Mm -hmm. So the water keeps, and it's five liter. Okay. But really, you can get in five and a half liter. That's mm -hmm. 10% more. You get more than yeah. And this is all the water you're. Yeah, Design under, it under the bed here, right. and it's going to be under 50 liters. Under 50 liters. And then I'm going to have 10, 40 amp hours, 12 volt batteries, mm -hmm. and that is 30 kilos. So that's 130 kilos. There's really no ballast in the boat. Mm -hmm. But in the bottom, here is inside the carbon fiber, and here's three layers of 450 gram. Yeah. But on the bottom, it's more down there front when it's resting. Mm -hmm. it's 16 layers or something like that, you know, it's uh, quite heavy. So the bottom is more heavy than the top. Mm -hmm. And here is 70 millimeter, but here be 30 millimeter, mm -hmm. and just one layer of 450 gram glass. Uh, right. And it's going to be glass here because that's why I use my iPad. Mm -hmm. The, uh, the from the satellite, they yeah. go straight through it, mm -hmm. you know. So I got my maps and everything like that. Wow, very good. Are you, are you limited by the size you can build the boat to be able to get it out of the workshop? Well, in a way, you know, 
and we can walk in there, you know. Uh -huh. This is a long, long, long walk, you know. Yeah, that's and this, there is one band, it's like 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. And uh, this boat is getting out, uh, so we, this boat can come out and get in. Okay, that's fine. Okay. If I was, was planning to make it a bit longer, but mm -hmm. then they have to take down like a wall, you know. Uh, yeah. And they told me, we can do this once for you, but not twice. Okay. But this boat, I can get out and get in. You were saying you were planning on spending a lot more time building this than your other boats. You're going to yeah, take your time because and now enjoy it. I've, I've been nearly 1962. I left Sweden first time, so it's nearly 60 years. Next year, 2022 is 60 years from 62, mm -hmm. and I've been thinking more or less constantly on the good boat, you know, and how to improve it. Sure, my ideas about say it has changed over time but now I really I'm, now I feel you know into the core of my body you know mm. this is really good stuff you know this yeah. is very very good boat you know so now now I'm and also when I was younger I was in a more of a rush you know <laughs> so I, sometimes I just go you know, I, I wish I had I, I like to do more time you know spend on boat to do it more better mm -hmm. And uh, this is what I'm doing now. I take time. Yeah. And like with this hatchet, you know, mm -hmm. it's going to take a long time, you know, and I'm going to have five of them. Yeah, tell me about the hatches. Yeah, maybe I'll come up. Yeah. So this is the front hatch, you know, mm -hmm. and it's like that. Mm -hmm. And then that is not a place to pull down. Oh, it's not a place to pull down. But if it there's a roof going from here to here, so we slide like that. Oh, okay. And then I'll just sit here. there. You see? You're not using it. A roof, mm -hmm. twist this, and then I just strap it in. Mm -hmm. And when I go it here, it's a ratchet strap. I strap it in there. And then I got this front hatch here. Mm -hmm. I open that too. And I got these two masts side by side. Like one okay. here yeah. and one there. So I had that in boat 2018, but the problem is this master pointing outside. Mm -hmm. But now I got the kind of tabernacle, so I can move them in, in, in ah, one right. boat. So they're not bumping into the other boats, bringing yeah, in stuff. Exactly. And here's the center board. Mm -hmm. So the axis has to be really good. You know. And uh, yeah, thank you. Ah. So, is it happening? Oh man, that's really light. Yeah. So, so this is the Vinny cell, yeah? Yeah. Which is one layer of. That glass. is uh, one layer of 450 gram glass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I have, I have a test piece, you know, when you come in to the yeah. floor, you step on it, you know. Mm -hmm. so it's, and then this is rounded, this is going to be rounded too. I see. And they go through it from here. Wow, that's a serious gasket material. Yeah. So I was speaking to a, a, you know, you can do washing machines, you know, in the house, you know, uh -huh. and you can make laundry machines. Right. But you cannot make a hatch for a boat, you know, that's waterproof. Uh -huh. But it's such a good thing to have a hatch. So this is waterproof, even upside down. You know? Right. Yeah. So I don't mind, you know, Boat is capsizing and small boat is no problem, nothing breaks. There's no things you get thrown around, you know. A big boat, you know, they got a four meter beam, it's like 13, 14 feet beam on a big boat, you know. Mm -hmm. And if you're on one end and you got thrown over to the other side, it's like for falling from a big height, you yeah. Know? And if you hit the corner and the rib, you know, it's gonna hurt yourself, you know. <laughs> so this is gonna be here. And it's going to take some time to get this all together. Mm -hmm. and, and so all, even the hatches inside the boat are going to have these, these yes, gasket. Yes, this is also a testing thing, you know. And you, you're First, closing it down with the ratchet strap? Yeah, so I put the ratchet strap over here and do it. And then also, as an extra, you know, I'm mm -hmm. going to have bolts, you know, screw it down too. Uh, okay. And this is just the corn, this is the lid. Yeah. And this is how to do the lid. Carbon fiber going down here and then inside of here I have I have to have a mold and then this is gonna come here. But now it's not the right so angle. Yeah. 
but now you see this has to be to come right down to here. Mm -hmm. It has to come exactly in the middle of that hat, and that's difficult because I've really got nothing to measure on. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take this piece of plywood mm -hmm. and put it across here and bring it to me. And then I'm going to screw it down and two temporary wards. Okay. And then I'm going to mark it under here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to try it. So this is a difficult thing to do, you know. Mm -hmm. But you figure it out. Well, uh, and so I tried it on this uh, front house here. Yeah, get it figured out. And also, if it go wrong, I can make a new one, you know. Sure, sure. Uh, where do you want to take the boat? Well, last or 2020, mm -hmm. I said because of the corona, I couldn't really move here in Europe. Mm -hmm. It's a trailer boat, you know, that's the important thing too, you know. Mm -hmm. So I took it on a trailer up to Ålesund in Norway, sail north of the Faroe Islands, and on to Iceland, and took 78 days. And then I do it like a test, you know, with this boat too. Mm -hmm. And then sail down to Madeira and get uh, food, grapefruit, and all these things, mm -hmm. more water. Exactly. And then I said here, and here, here is the southwest trade wind. So mm -hmm. you run into, this is circulating this way in yeah. the south, and the north it goes like this way. Right. So you can't sail from here to here. You know, many people think that, mm -hmm. but you have to go to the Brazilian side. Ah. Uh, down there. And, and you, you want to try to do this nonstop? Yeah, from uh, Madeira, from Madeira uh -huh. up here, you know, it's probably going to take maybe 50 days or something like that. Mm -hmm. 75 miles a day, mm -hmm. it's going to be 3.14 knots. I think it's an interesting number, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, many years ago, I had a boat, a double ender. Mm -hmm. It was 6 meters long mm -hmm. and was 1.72 meter wide. And this is 6.26 so it's just this bit longer mm -hmm. and that boat before was a really good boat i can show you a picture of it later okay and um, i often made about four knots you know like my 90 miles a day okay yeah the fastest was like 130 miles wow. but maybe i had a current with me you know sure. down in the equator you know maybe a current mm -hmm. but quite up in 110 miles or something like that mm -hmm. and from Santa Elena, it's like here. Mm -hmm. I sailed up to Martinique in, I think it was 45 or 48 days. Mm -hmm. So that's about Eight. 90 miles average, you know, miles even crossing the equator. Yeah, yeah. So I think, and this boat goes twice the sailor of the one from the Yeah, that was a And uh, we've got the lighter hull. I think the whole thing is going to be lighter now, mm -hmm. the one. And it got less wetted surface, less resistance. So I think it's going to make maybe seven to five months a day. Yeah. So, and that's about 14,000 miles here mm -hmm. from Dunedin in New Zealand. Wow. That's the plan. Mm -hmm. And so then, kind of the same plan as the other boat, but yeah, yeah. with the uh, so, new but, uh, you know, modifications. Learning more and more and mm -hmm. more and more and more, you know, getting better at it, iterating, you mm -hmm. know. I try. And okay. you're saying this is the anti-nodal point? Yeah, exactly. Of, uh, where you are? Yeah, you can see here on the kind of glue. The glue. Oh. Here it's like a up here is Sweden. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh yeah, and there is. You see yeah. it? So you see it? One point. So we just for fun. That'd be cool. And people say you know, a small boat, you know, they are not safe and you cannot sail forward and, you know, and it's good for others, you know, because, you know, they've been doing these big boats, you know, and waste a lot of energy and resources and things like this. And, uh, small boats, small problems, you know, and I care the mass, but then maybe make other ones, you know, but mm -hmm. they just, the two and a half kilo, you know, mm -hmm. most. You hold it. Uh, That's all. Uh, two and a half kilos. On the one hand, like you know. And um, <laughs> yeah, that is so small, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's a hand thing, you know. 
Yeah. And I think maybe it would be good if more people do this, you know? Yeah. That's oh, cool. yeah. I'm, I'm gonna get that thing for you, show you the textile cleats. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the, the, the cleats you're using on your boat are really cool, too. You, yeah, you this yourself, is just yeah? a piece of rope. Mm -hmm. Or, in fact, two pieces of rope. Mm -hmm. One coming up here, one coming up here. And then this, you wind it with a small one. And Sam, you remember in the ASOS, I show you all these little things, you know. Yeah. Or, you know, when you're passing the sail, when you do this and mm -hmm. everything, the safety belt, it's just this, you know. And like a textile stuff, it's yeah. so much lighter than metal. Right, you know? right. So it's very much light and it's cheap. Mm -hmm. You know, you just take a piece of rope, you bend it, you drill through a hole, you mm -hmm. pour some epoxy in it, and then you've got the place to fasten a rope. Really, you know? That's awesome. You don't have to weld or... Um, no, no, and, and it's cheap. And bedding just, compound and screws yeah, and bolts from both sides, you just... I'm not sure if you can use it on black big boat, 40, 50 feet, you mm -hmm. know? But on a small boat, you know? I think it's good. No problem, you know? And actually so, on the boat on the air source, you know? Yeah. So many things I had obviously uh, working yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah and, and the boat there so many places you have to fasten a rope with you mm -hmm. know and grand hand holes mm -hmm. you know and everything like that mm -hmm. just take a piece of rope put a hole put it into to the like the divin cell you know mm -hmm. and this is really strong stuff you know really yeah strong it is wow. it's like wood you know mm -hmm. some are even stronger mm -hmm. yeah and, and then the rig you're using on this boat it's Yes, it's, uh, I had this 2018, mm -hmm. and I got one mast in the back, so it's like a yawl. Mm -hmm. It's behind the rudder, and then we got this two masts and sailing downwind. You mm -hmm. know, most cruising boats they do sail downwind. You know, yeah. But they both got the boat with the uh, weather helm, mm -hmm. so if you're on a trade wind, the boat is always trying to go back and up to the wind. Yeah. And it's not such a good thing if you're sailing downwind, you know. Mm -hmm. So they have self steering, you know, autopilot. My boats, I don't use that, you know. It makes simpler autopilot and self steering and that thing in the back and mm -hmm. it keeps breaking down, you know. And uh, yeah. So no self steering at all, just yeah. locking off the tiller and using the sails. Yeah, yeah, you just lock it, you know, when they uh -huh. come sailing down. All right, cool. And you're using a lug sail again. Yeah, it's uh -huh. such a good thing, you yeah. know. Just a little bigger. And, than the last uh, one. You know, nowadays they say we must use triangular sails, you know, Bermuda sail, it's more efficient. Yeah. But you know, sails been around for a thousand of years. Yeah. What is more difficult? It's not very difficult to make a triangular sail. Mm -hmm. But they say, well, look at airplanes, you know, they made wind tunnel tests, you know, and I show, yeah, if you measure sail area, if you tax sail area and you should say, you can only have so much sail area, then it's more efficient. But mm -hmm. if you say for the mast height, uh, that's your that's more factor, efficient, yeah. you know, and especially mm -hmm. downwind, you know, mm -hmm. it's way more efficient than the triangle sail. Mm -hmm. So it's no good. And you know, an airplane, mm -hmm. they say, oh, well, look at the airplanes, you see. But you know, airplane, you ever seen an airplane with a wing on that side? And a ballast keel on the other side? Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> same thing. So they got two wings, one side and that way, and uh -huh. that heals the boat that way. But mm -hmm. then they, instead of ballast, they got the wing on the other side. Sure. So that's what the boat, but the boat, mm -hmm. it doesn't have uh, a wing on the other side, you know, to make him equilibrium. Mm -hmm. And that's why we have to think about this, you know? I think, I think it's a good idea. Yeah. So, okay, what we do next? So, do you use a drogue or a parachute sea anchor on your boat? Well, I did that? use that, you know, a parachute anchor, mm -hmm. and but then I was thinking, and mm -hmm. well, I see this uh, Jordan. Um, the Jordan thing. series drogue, yeah? Oh, here is. Well, that's just not, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's quite heavy. This is our suit. It works work good, you know. Mm -hmm. They good stuff, you know. Have you uh, used, used it before? Yeah, the coming storm? to I saw you know, squeezing in, and then uh -huh. I don't have an engine, you know, so the wind was taking me out, so I just put it down. Mm -hmm. But then you have to wash it 
to do and it take up the place. Sure. But then I saw it. I got room. I put this hole or roof here, it's like 200 meter. Mm -hmm. And it's 8 millimeters. What does it say? 200 meter. Oh, here it says. Yeah. 666 feet. Okay. And I just put it here. And I use it like a winch. Mm -hmm. And then I got like a hose pipe and feed uh -huh. it down here. Uh -huh. I start with chain. Just glass that in there. And yeah, and it comes out right here. Right, right. This comes the roof out. And 200 meter plus some 20 meter chain, you know. It's, that, that's to prevent you from pitch pulling and slow you down? Yeah, it slows you down and in, in the bad weather, you know. And you know the concept of tail, I'm thinking. You know, nearly every animal has a tail, you know, mm -hmm. like the squirrel, you know, uh -huh. and it kind of steers up, and the cat has a tail, you know, and you know the cat, you throw him up, he always comes down on his feet, mm -hmm. and they carry around his tail, you know, and I was thinking, you know, <laughs> maybe there is something to a tail, you know, uh -huh. sure. and it's so simple, and then also, I put this down, and then with a hook, I pick it up here, mm -hmm. and put the anchor up. Oh, and then I can use it for anchoring. Yeah. And then I got 220 meter anchor. You can anchor you know? anywhere with that. Yeah, and and I got two anchors, you know, I had uh -huh. 10 kilo spade anchor and a 6 kilo spade anchor. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you can do all your, when, when you're in a from strong inside. wind, you can do it all from yeah. inside. You just got to yeah. And this is one of the reasons why I got a double ender, because mm -hmm. the boat is symmetrical. Yeah. You can anchor it up here. All oh, right, yeah, it doesn't make a difference, I guess. That, that's and uh, if you see on the model, mm -hmm. you got the rudder here, and that gives some latter area. Mm -hmm. Remember on the A source, I made a little video there. Mm -hmm. You know, the boats always keep snaking. snaking. Oh, you know, yeah. they go like this, well, and they say like that. that yeah. But now I take down this sail, and then I can have this sail, or I put out the booms, you know, strong wind. Yeah. And then it really stays straight in yeah. the wind. And that also means that you don't need such a big anchor because when the boat has the broadside on it, yeah, it's much more force, you know, it's just when it's pointing up. Right. And I remember 19, uh, when I was without the boat, this is here, you know, the first breach. Yeah. You see this boat I built in the, my mother's basement? Ah, it's okay. like a double under. Mm -hmm. It's like this one. I anchored up you know, from the behind. Oh, from behind, yeah. And it worked well, you know, mm -hmm. because to stick down the rudder there, yeah. it holds it up. Yeah. I used to anchor my boat in Hawaii when I was in Hawaii from the behind because it was a sloop, so the sail was masked, all the wind is just further forward. Yeah, exactly. And then uh, as long as it was kind of protected because it was it kind of, the waves come over the back weren't fun. But if you were in a harbor, it would, you know, in 50 knots of wind, I would anchor that way because the boat wouldn't do that. Exactly. Yeah. You look. You look at the anchor line when it does that, and it like stretches so much. It's when it's facing sideways. Yeah. And you see, and this is a double under. This I think it's a, a very good thing. Like the front of the boat. Yeah, yeah. So you can take the waves on either side. So you can anchor. Yeah. Very good. So if you like um, Urvin's boats, check out his website. And if you're getting anything out of them, uh, please send him a donation so he can continue uh, to fund the this amazing boat. And also subscribe to his YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description. He's doing really cool daily updates on the build. And then that one I sailed to England. Uh -huh. And then was a schooner I, I made mm -hmm. from a steam launch. And that was the first breeze. An aluminum boat. And then there was another boat. And there was one on the bicycle and that and that one. That's the one you saw down on oh. the mushroom. Yeah. yeah. The this is the one with the cotton sails. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And this, some of sails were cotton on this. And, mm -hmm. and I remember at the boat show 1968, mm -hmm. there was a man, you know, he had the polyester rope. Mm. And he said, here, he said, and he gave me a piece of stone like this, you know, a string, you know. Mm -hmm. And I was so happy with that. Mm -hmm. And then it was a, a boat in, in uh, Brunsbüttel in Germany. Mm -hmm. I think it was a pilot boat or something like that. 
he gave me four meter long rope, you know, with polyester. Hey, he said, have this, you know. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, that was what I can do. Yeah. And this is even uh, oh, wow. Dyneema, you know. Oh, yeah, Dyneema is good stuff, isn't it? And here I got this. Uh, Hat knife for cutting it. Yeah. yeah. All this rigging. Yeah, just Your mast up here. Yeah, You're gonna use these in this, but in the. This is what I used on, on, but now I think I make the glass fiber, you know. All oh, right, right. With antenna, and also you know with the log sail. Mm -hmm. It just sits at the top, but I think I'm gonna make like a glass fiber tube. Mm -hmm. It can slide up and down, and it's got a high yard. Mm. And you see, because when you got the reef. Mm -hmm. It's you. You can have a string around her, and that's what I do, you know. Mm -hmm. But I think I make a pipe outside that and attach it to that, mm -hmm. you know. And that's going to be really good, you know, because you know, just before I got into Ireland, mm -hmm. I got bad weather in the Bahama, in the Bay of Biscay. Right. So I went out again, you know, and then it was kind of banging against the mast, the spar. Mm -hmm. Just made some noise, you know. Mm -hmm. But you know, for the next one, this is going to be Sound that problem. Yeah. yeah. Now you're taller than me, you tall. see. But you I think it's, it's, it feels a lot bigger than your other boat, though. Uh, here's the, like a window. Uh -huh. There's one more on each side. And the roof to center board. Uh -huh. And here is like the pool, you know. Here and there, yeah. And on the other side, and and then this will. And this is the try to sit on that one. Yeah. Now you got headroom, you see? Now I got headroom, yeah. Hey, I come in too. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if you can sit together. So you sit there, you know. Yeah. Sit there. <laughs> so, so this is for four uh, people up yeah. down there, you know. So I can put them. Oh, they didn't clamp it at the. Yeah. Right okay. Whatever. Right? You see for a marker. Mm -hmm. And then whatever it is, you, you see you can twist this like that. Mm -hmm. And that's that way. Yeah. Just like you know, mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you have to cool through here. So then here is where it goes down. They have the window here. Yeah. So and then, then I got a deck up here, you see. Uh -huh. I can go up to the side uh -huh. and I can hold one mast on each side. I can stand like that. Ah, uh, okay. So it's really handy, you know. And I can you lean can here. Can that, yeah. I got the four deck here. Uh -huh. Even crawling through here, making sure. <laughs> and people say, you know, oh, you get must, must have more comfort, you know. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you, it keeps you agile, you know. Crawling through all these spaces. Yeah. The, the, the more comfort you are, the quicker you get older. Yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good to touch your toes if you sit in that boat, Sam. Mm -hmm. But uh, under there, you know. This will be up here, right? Yeah. You have up. It's going to be this high, you know? Yeah, it'll be here. And you store stuff underneath there? Yeah, water in the middle mm -hmm. and batteries. And your, your mattress goes all the way to the edge? No, and, 90 centimeters. 90 centimeters? Three feet. Three feet, okay. In the middle. Mm -hmm. So this is Are you gonna do your that are you gonna redo the, the your in bed table? Yeah. So yeah, anything? Yeah. yeah. And that the lines, you know. Mm -hmm. Did you see on my boat before? I can yep. steer. Yeah, you have a tube. Yeah. Or the oh, the rudder's on the inside, so yeah, it, it just yeah. You have, are you gonna do those cleat things again? What? You had like a cam cleat last yeah, time or something? No, it can't. It's the uh, uh, jammer, or jammer. what we call it. Oh, uh, I, I, I don't forget the name. Yeah. You know the hard yard? Uh -huh. or, or you have a winch and then you have this uh, uh, jammer. Yeah, what are they called? I think they're called jammers. Jammers? Okay, yeah. Clutches, I call them. Oh? Clutches. 
rope, rope, rope clutches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe jammers too. No, no. But maybe it's in England, maybe it's in America. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Is this going to be angled or just flat on, on top? Oh, uh, yeah. I think it makes it a bit yeah. angled there. Yeah. You see? And then I can watch the sky see too. There. Yeah. And they say it's here, you know. No, you think it's a good book? I think so, yeah. Maybe you make one. I'm gonna, one I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try it out when I meet you when you finish it. <laughs> and then I'll film on my head. You can make it a little bit bigger, you know. I need it to be high enough, yeah, for me. But uh, I like the idea, I like the concept of it. Yeah. I wanna do this solo non stop around the world in the smallest boat. Yeah, you do that? Yeah. Yeah, do this, you know. This would, this would be a good kind of yeah. starting point to build that. Yeah. How long, uh, this would take maybe like a year to do that, and you think? How much? A year? How long would it take to go non-stop? Yeah. 11 months? Yeah, maybe one year. Yeah. Like, I uh, think this not Johnson did it do 312 days? Oh, okay. 312 days for him. But he had a bigger boat. But yeah, you could probably go about... But I think this is... Maybe you can make... This is like 20 feet. Mm -hmm. If you make 25. Mm. And I think the, the current smallest one is 20, 20 feet, right? Or 21 feet. Yeah, that is a uh, Polish guy. And yeah. And maybe there's more. Mm -hmm. Maxus or something like that. Yeah. Uh, you want to make the smallest one? I want the smallest one. I know you were, you were trying to do it in your 10 foot boat yeah, years yeah, ago. Yeah. But but no, Th this would be smaller, you know, if I mm -hmm. did it no stop, you know. Yeah. But uh, now I'm not in the record business anymore, you know. Uh -huh. I thought, you know, to get rich, you know, so I make a record thing, you know, and then maybe I don't have to worry about money anymore, sponsors, you know. But then I gave it up. I think you're better off uh, doing things that are interesting to you and sharing it on a video than trying to get a record and then but, people will be more uh, interested. I think you. I think you could make it in this boat. You know. mm. Oh, you see, I have ideas. You know, collecting. You know, you, you got this thing on your sail. You know, what mm. do you call this thing? Mm. The sail pack. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I can catch water in that. Yeah. Yeah, I probably try to have at least some method of catching the water. If, if you do that a bit more dedicated to catching water. Yeah. They also have the pump things you can, the water makers. Yeah, right? you can do that, but. Yeah, I wouldn't rely on that, but I think it's a. But I think, I think you could plant the water if you yeah. have uh, these things, you know? I like the fish too. Yeah. But then if you eat a bit like mine, you know, with this powder and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, you get used to it after a while, you know? And the yeah. thing is, you know, if you eat every like three or four hours, you know? Mm. You don't get hungry, you see. Mm. So, so hunger is the spice, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could do this in a book like this, and then especially down in the rural forties, this is such a good rig, you know. Yeah. You got one sail up on this side, a bit like that, and that, and then it can blow. And you are your boats excessively rolly going downward in, in that kind of ways? Well, you see the other one, the one in. You met in Azor. Mm -hmm. It was a square section, mm -hmm. but I think it was too stable. It mm -hmm. was just like too trying to too, 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 too fast. Yeah. I think the first breeze was more a section like that. So I think it's more kind of good movement, you know. Mm -hmm. I think it might be better brewery. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a little finer. Like the other one had kind of a spoon. Shape yeah, so now, now, Maybe now, the right direction. you know, the shape of the boat, but you talked a little bit about the screw number, mm -hmm. you know, with the transom, it's for fast screw number, you know, like when you go at the top speed, hull speed, mm -hmm. but if you're not going to a hull speed and you, the average speed is not hull speed, mm -hmm. it's just maybe if you're lucky, 10, 20 percent full speed, you know, on a long voyage, you know. Mm. So might as well design for the average speed. Mm, and right. for the average speed, 
because people have been using boats for thousands of years mm -hmm. and then they're always like that kind of shape you know mm -hmm. do you know what a white hole boat is no ah, it's kind of boat i have been used for or pure harbor, you know, okay. ruined boats, okay. white hole. But they are like a double hander in the, and the same boat in in uh, the pirate jigs in the uh, Silly Islands. Mm -hmm. They are like narrow in the bottom, but then I got a bit of transom above the waterline. You know? oh, okay. They go up like that, but in the waterline, they 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 are like double hander, but above they are get a bit more space. Mm -hmm. But I think this is so. That's what this is the shape they've been doing for thousands of years. You know. Yeah. Well, it, look, it looks like a, it's a good looking boat. Yeah. <laughs> I think. No, no, this. You know. But then we have a, what's happening. Might be someone around the world now. You know, five and a half meter boats. I know. You're never gonna have it for long. When we come home today, we read in the newspaper. Oh, say, okay, we cut it off here. <laughs> yeah. What's one man doing that? Hmm. There was one man doing that. Oh, really? Yeah. He took the motor saw. A Scottish man, yes. Uh, That's it right. right. Uh, <laughs> uh, and here is the new Divina Sally. Oh, yeah. Well, this is going to be for your bulkheads and. Yeah, uh, this is for the. For the deck. What, what is Accommodation? Yeah. And this is for the deck. Nice. For the deck. And the shoe. And this is a huge picture. Mm -hmm. If you ever have a workshop. Oh yeah, I want to get one of these. It's perfect. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, this is denser. This isn't what you use here, though. This is you know, really strong to the shell. Yeah. They use it for submarines. Oh. Uh, Yeah. I just talked to them, you know, and they have a factory in Dallas, in Texas. Oh, they do? Okay. And what are you using? This is 450 grams. Mm. Three layers, and this is the yeah, side on top. Three layers of that? Yeah. Mm. And the bottom is smaller, you know. You can destroy it if you want to. I'm going to throw it away and It's nice, they sew it together. Like, yeah. It's nice, it's nice and this is good to do it white because when they get epoxy on it, it yeah. gets uh, black. You know? Oh, right, then it kind of disappears, you can tell. So it's difficult. Yeah, carbon is hard. Like glass is easy because it turns clear. Oh, yeah. The carbon is hard to get out. The sensible here in front, you know. Should we get out? Should we get the ultrasound thing and start? <laughs> should we get out the ultrasound machine and and measure out the? Like this man, I was going to come up here. Yeah, he'll, he'll get him out here. Yeah. Make sure you can uh, pass the insurance uh, yeah. standards for boat building, and then you get your permit to take this thing. <laughs> Doesn't qualify for order. CE, you know, this is the European Center marking, uh -huh. and you cannot sell it or use it. That's <laughs> because I, I have books. I have books. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I went to the boot shoe, selling books, and then I had a boot with me, you know, mm -hmm. people looking. And when I got there, I got this on the post, you know. You should make your own, another sign that says, this boat does not meet Irvin's Standards and design <laughs> okay. and put it on every other boat in the boat show. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming again and thank you also for the yeah. Scottish gifts, you know. <laughs> I probably will yeah, the short. Thank you for watching. Um, this video was posted a little bit out of sequence than the rest of them. I'm a little bit behind on my videos. I just wanted this to come out uh, sooner so that Yurvin's progress would be uh, more current 
and uh, I also decided to make this video a little longer just to kind of see how that goes. Uh, didn't want to edit out any of those good nuggets of, of information. It's it's uh, so cool what he's doing. If you watch this whole video, definitely subscribe to his channel. It's really good. I guess the where I am right now is I'm actually in Croatia. So I sailed my boat from to Norway and then Sweden and hauled it out for the winter. And uh, I'm gonna be looking for a dinghy around here. Maybe do some like dinghy cruising along the coast in a few days. I got some leads, but uh, if anybody is around here, maybe wants to meet up or uh, has a little sailboat they want to donate or sell or rent to me or whatever, uh, let me know. Uh, until then, I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and also don't worry, all the I've got lots of footage for the sailing through the North Sea in Norway and Sweden, so all that's gonna come out uh, in the next few weeks. I just need to edit it all. It's kind of I get I get a little behind. That's all.